The World's Biomedical Laboratory Science Day is held on 15th April of every year. The day hopes to celebrate and appreciate the key role laboratory technology plays in patient care. The Kenyatta National Hospital, in collaboration with the Sonko Rescue Team, held a free medical camp at Mukuru Wajenga Primary School to mark the World's Biomedical Laboratory Science Day. Dr. Andrew Gashi, a consultant pathologist and deputy director at the Kenyatta National Hospital, presided over the event. Kenyatta has teamed up with uh, um, the Senator Mike Sonko to bring the services closer to the people. With, uh, actually, with the idea of trying to sensitize people on the role the report has uh, in the healthcare world. The theme of this year's event was patient safety first. Our theme this year for the World uh, Biomedical Science Laboratory Day is on patient safety first. This is because we do recognize the role the laboratories play in terms of um, uh, you know, ensuring that testing of uh, specimens, may it be urine, may it be blood, may it be any other test, they have to be done in a, um, a particular way and more important, we have to ensure there is quality assurance as far as testing is concerned. Apart from the residents benefiting from the general health care provision, screening of cancer for both men and women was also undertaken. Basically what we are doing today is that um, we are treating people, but even uh, more, more important is that uh, we have a laboratory component into it. Part of the tests that we are providing uh, as part of the medical camp includes we are screening people for cancer through cervical smear, that is a pap smear. We are, for men we are doing um, a test for prostatic blood, what we call uh, prostatic service antigen, this being a screening test for cancer of the prostate. In addition to that, we are doing blood sugar, and we are also doing uh, checking malaria for parasites, and uh, also we are doing a, a few other tests that are related to the blood test. Dr. Hashford of Kenya International Hospital estimates that over a thousand patients received treatment during the occasion. We've seen almost uh, close to 2,000 patients, mm -hmm. most of them with uh, abdominal and uh, chest infections. Mm -hmm. Some of them are old, mm -hmm. they are uh, intensive and diabetic. Mm -hmm. Others have uh, issues with uh, bone, uh, arthritis. Mm -hmm back problems, mm -hmm. but so far, um, according to our experience and drama, we've uh, managed all of them. A fully equipped ambulance was on standby to handle and quickly ferry critical patients to Kenya International Hospital. We have received a, a, a few emergencies, I would say around 10 or 12. We preferred three to Kenyatta Hospital. Um, one might need an ambition because it's a serious burn. So uh, we fed them with the medication and we already started them on medication, but to continue in hospital. Dr. Hashford also said apart from helping the residents, the exercise was also in line with the Kenya International Hospital corporate social responsibility. Clinically, I would say we have done well. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God for this event. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Mwishima Sonko for remembering these people. Mm -hmm. I want to thank Kenya National Hospital for being a truly national hospital mm -hmm. and coming to do this corporate social responsibility. Hundreds of residents from Mukuru Jenga slums and its environs 
including local leaders, who showed up for the events to receive free medical care, pressed the initiative and said it will not be a one-day affair. Mimi na ito laban urenye likoko. Mimi ni sector general wa Mwilimani Welfare Association ambao inasimamia landlords wote ambao wako katika mkuru kwa njenga. Uh, actually, event ya leo hii inaitua Songo Free Medical Camp eh? mm. ni kitu mzuri sana. Because miaka yote tangu tu, 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 tukue mkuru kwa njenga atuja yipata free medical camp kama imeletu na mwishimu wa Songo. Kwa hivyo, mimi kama representative wa landlords katika mkuru kwa njenga na mulimani zone nimefurai sana, watu wamefurai sana na wakaniambia ni kuja ni mshukuru sana kwa kasi ya limefanyia sisi. Na tena harutis kuingine. Ya, iziwe leo peke yake na haenda kose kurutu tena. Vijana wote wanataka pia wawusishwe katika mambo hayo. Asante sana. Kwa Kambusa Ibrahim, kutoka kwa mkuru jenga, mshukuru kanyi songo wa mekuletea na Mwaleta dawa, kila kitu watu wa mshukuru, mshukuru sana. Na tunataka yendele hivu hivu. However, Patrick Otieno, a resident from Bukuru Wajenga slums, observed that three medical camps were not an appropriate solution to healthcare challenges facing the people in the area. He proposed instead that the government should consider long-term solutions, including construction of a healthcare facility, to benefit the slum dwellers. Kwa majina ni Diwani Mtarajiwa, Patrick Utieno. For now, naweza sema hivi, mimi zijao na maana ya ikitu kwa hapa. Kwa sababu unasema hivyo tumekuwa na hospitali 10 good years yenye jawai operate mkuru health services. Tumekuwa na mkuru dispensary imewekwa, madaktari kama hao wale tuwepale, ningesema wana mkuru wamesaidi. Lakini hii kitu ya leo, kesho imeenda, baada ya miaka zingine mbili, hii ni siyasa watu wanapale. Kama tuandaka kusaidia wana mkuru, tulete hapa hospitali ya kudumi nina saidia wana nchi. Sule Ogwendo, the chairman of Sonko Rescue Team, praised the residents from Mkuru wa Zenga Slums for supporting the Sonko Rescue Team in bringing the free medical camp. Siku ya leo, tuliamua kuleta hiyo buna ya matibabu katika eneo la Mkuru kwa Njenga. Huku Mkuru kwa Njenga, leo tumeshirikiana na Kenyatta National Hospital. Tumamua kuleta hii mambo ya check-up ya matibabu ya bure huku na tena tumamua kuleta maji ya bure tuko na tangi yetu hapo na tuko na lori trailer hapo moja na lori pia hiko hapo ya maji tumamua kupatia maji pia kufanyo mambo ya matibabu kwa ngadiwa magutu Shukuru sana kwa wakaji wa hapa hata mayutu wa hapa tumeweza kwa recruit tuko na mayutu ya ine toka hiyo neo wanafanya kazi na Sonko Rescue Team wako hapa, unamesaidia kupanga meza, unamesaidia kupanga madaktari, unamesaidia kazi mingi sana. Kwa mshukuru vijana wa yenu hili, unamudia tukumba moja, na wakanya kwa jumla pia, nasema, sakore siku timu, tukotayari kumia kila ubakuzi.